Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look again on the gold market so you can see things here are getting complicated. So despite that market has formed two grubbers in a row here and this was our well the passion that we intend to use for trading and in general they are valid by far. But market can't get started the reaction on these patrons, showing any pullback here or selling it down when the new seller is stepping in and pushing price lower. In the best case, that might be just the action to the 1785, where we still have incomplete downside ABCD target. And theoretically, our prediction could, could reestablish rights from, from the 1785 area. In the worst scenario, that will be the continuation of this stuff. So currently, market doesn't show the clear signs in both directions. In the current circumstance, you do not have a lot of options what to do. One thing is just to wait and see for clarity. Strong sell off here that could start might become the signal for taking the short position that indeed might be some large A, B, C, D pattern starting. Upper reversal and jump above the 18, 15 area might become the signal that we're going at least to the COP, but potentially it might be greater A, B, C, D pattern right to the OP target, where they actually triangle border stands that was mentioned above. Whether to take part in current trading or wait, that's choice is up to you. So currently, is, it is everything clear about sit on the hands and wait. Uh, some moments exist uh, how you still could possess yourself if you still would like to take the part in all this mess, and in particular speaking in the Fed, uh, performance. So uh, on the whole time from chart, that's our major concern that we have few grabbers. But take a look what's going on. Once market hits the support and the confidence support problem, now I think that we even could draw the, the neckline of the pattern in the flat space right here. A few times already has been reached. This is the right arm of the pattern. This is OP that we are talking about. So if you would like to buy, theoretically, you could try to do this buy, but your stop should be somewhere below the 780 area, because here we have the agreement, and this action might be just the action to the target. Once the OP will be reached, market could turn up right from this area. That's why, for those of you who would like to buy gold and who believe that this will be some kind of the A, B, C, bottom, D pattern, so you could consider some entry inside of this area, but with the stop somewhere below this area. Conversely, if you'd like to go short, you probably could also try and take position on some pullback or somewhere in the same area, but with the stops above this area. Because in, in current circumstances, market already two times will try to show the bounce up from the neckline, up from the confluence, and every time this was the sell-off, despite the grubbers that have been formed, market can't get started, as I said, performance to the upside. It's not necessary to play stop right about the C point. I think that here is might be enough. Well, um, as bullish right now, uh, as bulls right now, as bears right now, have no clear direction, have no clear signs that market is definitely is going down or up because we have don't have any patience. So we have potentially hand and shoulders, but it seems some problem with the downward continuation here. And also we have the daily grabbers that are still valid that stands against the head and shoulders. So no clear background, no clear stop stance. And here you could try, try just trying to take the position in, in advance, trying to anticipate. Maybe Fed will be the catalyst that push market in one or other direction. On our chart, guys, uh, we have the same biting configuration here, some biting passion. Market can't get, can't break it. 
So now it's moving to the downside, to the lower part of the same consolidation. This is the OP target. It stands very close to the lower border. So maybe you know, on the OP something will change. Unfortunately, you can see here we do not have any butterflies, three drives or something of that sort. So absolutely nothing. The one thing that I would like to show you guys, it's uh, some harmony of the hand and shoulders patient. So take a look, we'll tie the chart. You can see very similar performance to the right to the left. So in the starting moment of this hand and shoulders, it will was some narrowing, consolidation, then the shoulder. Head. Now we're going in the opposite direction. So first the shoulder, now is a widening consolidation. And this will be downside performance here, guys. What will happen here? It's still a question. So that's been said. Um, despite that, we have now in grabbers. The overall performance stands um, not very inspiring. As the market shows no reaction actually on the grabbers and it's even pressing down all the attempt to go higher and was selling down by the new sellers that are stepping in. This looks heavy. Uh, so it might be just because of the existence of the 1785 target, but it could have more serious reasons. As I said, it might be downward continuation. As a bottom line, either sit on the hands, either take the direction whatever you want, with the placing stops above this area if you're going short, or below the 1780 if you'd like to buy. So that's the only... Uh, that the things that you could uh, try to use on the gold market. And wait for a Fed because that probably will be the major driver for the current week. So it should push the price now in one or another direction.